Hey guys, I'm back to another video, and today I will be unboxing the uh, Retro 3-Pack Amiibo Bundle uh, for Smash Brothers. It's an exclusive to GameStop, only in North America. Uh, I believe in every other region they sell these separately, but in the US, A, US of A, uh, GameStop's greedy, so they were like, yo, Nintendo, give us all three of the packs and we'll sell them as a bundle. It's the Retro 3-Pack or whatever. And, you know, they held pre-orders on a day, I believe it was on the weekend. So I went there, pre-ordered, and a couple months later, or a month or so later, came back, bought it, and yeah, so I'm very happy. I love Rob, Game & Watch, Duck Hunt's, Duck Hunt was a surprise, I wasn't expecting him to be in the game, but yeah, I, I really like Rob, Rob looks really nice and detailed. So, let's take a closer look at the box you have all of the artworks slashed in half or some parts of the artwork is cut off because you have to fit it all in on here you have a extended amiibo sign or whatever and on the you can see from the top the various game and watch poses you can do so i will demonstrate that in this video you have the amiibo uh stuff up here like level up to level 50 and the amiibos themselves with in-game screenshots of the wii u version so yeah this is for wii u and 3ds if you have the new 3ds supercharge your gameplay collect customize and compete so yeah now let's get into opening normally i would keep this in box but i've been uh trying to open some of my amiibos i will do a whole video maybe in the future I'm me opening all of my boxed amiibos because I don't think I'm gonna sell any of these anytime soon. So let me just open this. Gotta do that. And there we go. I know that some people like to go and keep the artwork intact, so they like cut around this plastic part, which is fine. Personally, I don't do that because it's a lot of work and I'm bad with knives. So yeah, just uh, for safety and time. So let's just get all three of these windows out. Have a closer look. Let's have a look at Duck Hunt first. And Rob is stuck on there, and Game & Watch already fell off, so I'll put Game & or Rob over there. Let's pull Duck Hunt out real quick. All of these amiibo figures look really nice and detailed. So you got Duck Hunt Dog. Here's a little stand to go and keep the uh, duck uh, in place. Just fine. It, it's not like a yellow stand, you know. It's clear, so it's fine. Very detailed. I like that. Let's look at Rob now. Rob, they did something different with Rob. Uh, I believe in Japan, uh, it is the Famicom Rob. So his arms are red, I believe. So if you are a amiibo collector or like a hardcore one, you might want to go and get that one. So we have Rob over here. It's a lot of little details and stuff that you probably won't notice until you actually have a nice look at them. I really do like it because, well first off I can't exactly see which way I'm supposed to pose them because the way it is is that you look at the Smash Bros logo on the stand and then you could pose them the way that it's supposed to be facing you. But for Rob, he covers the whole base so I don't know how I'm going to pose him, pose him like this. Probably got to pose him like this because that's how the way he normally is. So there's Rob, put them in the background so you can see him. Now let's get to Game & Watch. Game & Watch, they pretty much made him a bunch of like, let's get the standout first. And there it goes. <laughs> so this is the Game & Watch stand. And he comes with three other poses, so let's look at the default one. Plus that in there but yeah he's just like a little piece of plastic it's pretty thick but nice in quality looks really good you know you, you do see the indents on where you're supposed to lift them up to go and change the pose so I don't feel like I'm gonna break it so I guess that's a good sign now how do I get the rest of this out oh 
is another layer of plastic. So it comes in like this. So, yeah. So let's get the parachute one out first. Parachute, uh, I believe it's supposed to be like this. Okay. So that's the parachute look. Nothing different on the bag, just a reversed version. I, wait, can you pose them the other way? No, you can you? No, you cannot. So I only pose them that one way. Let's get the nine hammer out. Pose them this way. So let's just plop them in there. Got that lucky nine to go ahead and score you the winning kill, <laughs> hopefully. I love it when I get ones because then I just hurt myself for one percent. So, and then the final one, which is probably my favorite, is the bell. The bell. Put them in like this or like this. Like this? No. So like this. This right? This 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 way? Yes. Okay. So you pose them like this. Looks pretty cool. I like the bell. That's why I really like it. So, yeah, those are all three of the amiibos that come in the Retro 3 pack. An up close look. Get three additional poses for Game & Watch, so that's really nice. Uh, if I were to rank all these, I would say Rob, because we don't have any Rob merchandise in the USA. Actually, we don't have any, like, figure merchandise for any of these characters other than these amiibo. But Rob's my favorite because Rob is a is pretty much what revived gaming after the uh, crash in whatever it was, I forget the year number, but after the crash, Nintendo basically came in and was like, hey, this is Rob, this is a toy, all right? This is a toy, you see? And then, obviously it was a video game console. Then I, I would say Game & Watch, because of the three different poses that he comes with. These are just two of them. This is the third one, the parachute. So yeah, that, that and the fact that Game & Watch uh, is probably one of my favorite characters in Smash Brothers because I played him a lot in Melee, I believe. So I love Game & Watch. And Duck Hunt Dog, I would say my least favorite out of these three. You know, he is still a cool figure, you know, nicely detailed and all. But yeah, that was my unboxing of the Amiibo Retro 3 pack. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me unbox this whole thing. And if you guys want to see more unboxings, you can go and check out my channel. I have a bunch of other video game related unboxings. I unboxed the Wii U when it came out. I, I unboxed some Star Fox dog tags, so you can look that up on my channel. And yeah, so that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Game on, gamers.